Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, one of the finest Broncos, first off, uh, I've ever seen, second, that we've ever had. When we take a minute and look around, we're gonna spend a little time underneath this vehicle because I want to share with you that whatever you see on the top pales in comparison to how much is spent on the bottom of here. The underneath of it is uh, show quality and it's so well done that to restore something like this could be, could be, twice the asking price of what this is right now. So when you say to yourself, well, that seems like a fairly expensive Bronco, but well, we're gonna spend a few minutes, add up what it costs to restore this vehicle, and if the Bronco is in your wheelhouse, uh, guaranteed you'll be buying it the next day. All right, so let's take a peek for a second. This is a gunmetal gray. First off, an awesome, awesome color, all right? This had no stripes on it, so we striped it in the silver here, and to highlight uh, the custom hood on the vehicle. And I'd like to show you a little bit of the paint quality so you can see for yourself that you can read all of those words in there, all right? These are the things, like you're looking at Broncos and you're saying, well, I see lots of Broncos for $20,000. Why is this Bronco so much more? Well, let's start with first $10,000 worth of body and paint on here. Great paint, stripes, new panels, okay? Not rusty old panels. All new panels, all the features are done. Bumpers are color keyed, all right? The grill is redone. As we look inside here, uh, these cool HID headlights. All right, so you got a little bit of custom in here as well as a little bit of original, which makes this truck so really, really cool. All right, let's take a look down the side as well because as you know, these trucks can be very rusty and that's the one thing you need to be looking for when you're buying one, all right? All right, so listen to it. Great looking MT wheels. Uh, the MT is wrapped in a big set of uh, 265 rubber. All right, very aggressive and it has uh, pieces on the side here as well for when you get in deep sand or mud to paddle your way out of there. A couple small little things to peek out and see. Uh, stainless bolts, it looks like those are on there, all right? Then we did the stripe package on the side here. I just wanted to show you the fit and finish. Then we went ahead and installed these right here, these Cobra emblems. And you say, well, Tone, I don't really understand. Why would you put Cobra emblems on a Ford Bronco? And you're absolutely right. Why would we do that? Okay, you're absolutely right. So we're gonna keep walking around. I'm gonna keep the suspense up for just another couple minutes. You're gonna humor me and let me finish talking about the car and then I'm gonna show you why. All right, keep coming this way. All right. So a couple little touches here. New taillights, lenses, new bumpers here. We ran the stripe down the back, okay, here. And then we did the letters kind of uh, contrasting, which I thought looked really cool. So we did the gray here, the silver there. I thought it was a really nice touch, all right? This comes with the convertible top, all right? All right, what makes the Bronco so fun too is, is these are great like family vehicles. Another couple goes out with you or whatever uh, and go have some fun. First off, they can go pretty far deep in the woods, the sand, the beach, whatever. Then you can go ahead and throw the tailgate down. This right here is padded so you can sit on it, hang out, have some fun, right? And then if you want to, uh, it's got a storage compartment in here. I haven't opened it yet, so here we go. This is nice because it's stainless, okay? It looks to be weather resistant as well, all right? And then you can put your stuff inside here and then lock it, okay? That way if you decide to go into the water or whatever, you don't have to worry about your stuff getting stolen out of here uh, unless they uh, can find a way to uh, disassemble the truck and take it away, which I don't see happening. All right, okay. All right, so here's where we're gonna take uh, a peek at, at where we really start to spend some money. So we talked about uh, the body and paint and how much something like that is, all right? Now let's look at the drivetrain and see why is this truck a little different than any other truck out there? Whoa, how did you get in here? All right, how you doing? How you doing? All right, so these right here, crate motor, 4.6 liter, done by Ford, this is a SVT, they rated it 360 horsepower, conservative 360 horsepower, it's probably closer uh, to 400, but here's what I wanna share with you. Let's say it's only 360 horsepower. The original trucks had like 180 horsepower uh, in between, depending on the year. Depending on the year, 150 to let's say 200, all right? This is 50 to 100% more power. I mean, seriously. But look at it, beautifully done. All new sheet metal in here, power brakes, all right, power steering, big heavy duty radiator with electric fan, transmission cooler right here, horns, all right, K&N air filter. And the reason I'm bringing all this stuff up to you is like this piece right here, this is, you know, probably an $8,000 piece right here. The transmission's heavy duty, it's been rebuilt. The both drive axles, the front and the rear, 
both rebuilt, both expensively done. You know, you don't want to put this kind of power in here and, and put it into inferior drivetrain products. Now that you have all that backed up and it's all matched up and ready to go. All right, all new wiring. We talked about all the new uh, stainless and things like that, new battery, but look how clean it is in here. And check this out right here. This is expensive stuff, man. This is right here, you can see the wiring. It's covered by this water shield as well. So essentially you're getting a new 70s vintage Bronco, all right, with upgraded drivetrain. Even things like this right here, stainless line for, uh, for uh, vacuum ports. I don't know, I, it's just the little stuff, man. So many people don't get how much it takes and how much effort it takes to get something to this level. So you go to a car show, or if you just want to drive it and be anonymous, you can do that too. You want to drive it to work on a Friday, uh, it's a great vehicle to be able to do that. The doors come off as well. The windshield folds down if you want to. It's why people love Broncos, and that's why they continue to become popular. And on top of it, you know what I love? This has hood pins. Hood pins are so racy and cool. But they're very functional. All right, let's check out the inside. So uh, a lot of what I've learned over the years is I've learned how to manipulate cars. They have like the dog whisperer, the horse whisperer, and things like that. I am the car whisperer. Okay, I can make the cars do things that uh, a lot of people can't. For instance, like I want you to open the door. You see how that works? You see? When you train them to do the things they're supposed to do, they do what they're supposed to do. Anyway, just kidding. Anyway, this is uh, uh, keyless entry and electric door poppers for both sides as well. It's really cool to be able to pop the door for the other person over there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get in. I wanna show you the rest of this truck. It is gonna be a lot, a lot of fun. All right, so Arsh, come on, get in there. There you go. All right, so check this out, you guys. One thing that people love about these here is the fact is that commanding view, all right? These are all custom buckets, custom console, cup holders, upgraded digital sound system in here, all right? couple of things that you can't see. For instance, like the stereo speakers are hidden down below. This also has uh, electric wipers, which is an upgrade as well. Just some really nice things that normally the wiper motor would be this big unit up top here. It's been mounted down below. I don't think you understand the amount of effort it takes to get to this place. For instance, like the dash. The dash has all been redone. So it started out as a flat piece of steel. It's been rolled and hammered. Uh, then these custom gauges are put in here. Then there's got LED turn signals in here, and I have a cool new wheel for it uh, that's going on. It's just, uh, I wanted to get the video out there before we put it on, and it's really, really nice. It's gonna take this truck uh, and finalize it, so uh, it's really cool. Anyway, your four-wheel drive system here, okay? You can go ahead and throw that in four low, neutral, four high, uh, two high, and, uh, and you're ready to go. So it's pretty easy to work. The drivetrain is really smooth and everything in here is super, super heavy duty. The fuel injection system in here makes it really nice because it doesn't matter whether it's cold outside, hot outside, uh, raining, snowing, whatever. Uh, it's that feature that, you know, carbureted trucks sometimes just can't do and that's uh, and start in the bad weather. The one thing also too is that people love about these is, and I'd love for you to do the, be able to do the same, is you can throw your kids back here. We got seat belts, okay? This seat comes out if you don't want to use it for, for people and you just want it for hauling things. Throw another couple back there. Nothing is more fun than running down to the beach in one of these with another couple's. You go out to dinner in these, you go to the beach, you can drive onto the beach in them. Everybody loves these things, and when you have one that's really well built, it makes it even better. That's why I say, man, don't get a cheap one, because there's no such thing as a cheap Bronco, because they're very expensive to restore, because they get very rusty, and they just, uh, they just weren't, they were inexpensive at the time, and then nobody really took care of them. This one right here, clearly somebody has plowed an enormous amount of money into. All right, even from the, the fit and finish of these panels that are added in here, the fact that it has a rubber coating all inside the whole truck so you can just hose it right out. It's painted all the way inside. It's got the roll bar in place with padding. It's got a convertible top. You could take the doors off. I sit in here and I'm just running down the list of all the cool stuff in the shaved door handles and what have you. You know, the little stuff like moving the wiper motor from here down to over there so that you can fold down the windshield if you wanted to. It's got a little spoiler up top here. Keep the wind from getting too much in there. Fabulous. Fabulous. And if you don't love the shifter up here, a lot of times we move it down here for people. Uh, we can put it down there if you'd like to as well. So it's not a big deal, whatever you'd like. 
Okay, it's not often that people spend time underneath the vehicle. And why is that? Well, for the same reason you don't love looking at your undercarriage. Over time, those things get to be ugly. It's just uh, not a pretty place to be. But today, we're going to look underneath this 30 or 40 year old undercarriage and you go, wow, that's the best undercarriage I've ever seen, Mr. Fleming. How do you do that? Stop it. Stop it. All right, come on. Let's check this out. All right, so under here, this is where the money is spent on this truck. We looked at the top and it was spectacular, but look at this. Rear end, front end has been out, the rear end has been out. Uh, you can see the detail all up here of the motor. Look how shallow uh, the oil pan is because it has a dry sump system as well, all right? Radiator obviously is new. The frame's been uh, sanded, powder coated, and then the coil spring suspension is all new. The purchase for those are new. The suspension is new. The brakes are all new, all right? This right here, stabilizer you can see is brand new. I mean, look at all of the detail that's in here and it's just wonderful, wonderful. Matter of fact, what I'd like to do if we could is let's head back to the sides of the vehicle because that's where they get really rusty because all the water that gets kicked up in there and nobody ever rinses these things off. So let's go check that out. All right, so here we are laying underneath here. What I want to show you is some of this right here because this is the expensive part. For instance, this is where uh, the new floor pans have been put into the vehicle. So this car was completely taken apart. All new floor pans put in. The roll bar, for instance, a lot of people weld the roll bar, uh, sorry, just bolt the roll bar in. Here, this roll bar is welded to the frame of the vehicle for extra strength. Here's the support piece that comes on down on top of it. So instead of it just sitting on top of the floor bands, uh, it's uh, attached to the frame as well. Transfer case has been rebuilt here, okay? Rear end obviously has been rebuilt. Uh, it's still got the great red piece on the front here, the big uh, nine inch. Everything in here is super heavy duty, and you can see why people love these things because, I mean, look at first off the ground clearance is huge. This has, I believe, a four inch lift. It's either a three or four inch lift on here. Um, just, uh, I'm looking at all the suspension that's new, the shocks are new, obviously, the drivetrain is new, and it's just uh, really nicely done. Okay, cool. All right, I'm done here. Let's roll. All right, as we close up the video on this Bronco here, I'm not certain that you've seen one uh, better, cooler faster, whatever, with the, with the Cobra drivetrain inside there, uh, a great sounding dual exhaust, the big wheels and tires, the four wheel drive suspension, the lift, uh, the digital sound system, the custom uh, interior, it just goes on and on and on. I think on-road or off-road, uh, it just may be the coolest Bronco that's available. So anyway, if you were thinking about getting one in your life uh, and you wanted to have some really great fun on virtually a, a brand new, you know, very expensive restoration, significantly more than what this is selling for, call us, 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.